Hammer Bowling. Nothing hits like a hammer. Welcome to Hammer Bowling's toughest new ball of the year, the Hammer Brick. I'm Jeff Ussery, the Hammer Brand Manager. Our new mirror plane asymmetric core opens up the performance options by using standard drilling techniques. As you can see from the core images, our new brick core features an asymmetric plane down every axis of the core. This means using two standard drillings, such as a 4 inch pin to axis and a 5 inch pin to axis, will create a wider range of performance than using standard asymmetric or symmetric cores would yield. Make sure to check out how drilling the new brick core affects ball motion by using Powerhouse's new Blueprint software. Our Hammer video team is back to show you five different styles throwing the new Hammer brick. Today they'll be throwing the balls on Kegel's Stone Street pattern, a slicker lane pattern than we've used in past video sets. Due to the brick's aggressive motion down lane, we needed a slicker lane environment to show you the true strengths of this new Hammer product. Here's Robert Flunder throwing last summer's Arson release. You can see how Arson gives Robert a smooth mid lane look with a controllable down lane motion. Now Robert will show you the versatility of the new hammer brick. You'll see more continuation down lane as Robert starts on the same line as his Arson and then continues further left throughout the video shots. You can see in the videos that the new hammer brick is a longer and stronger down lane motion than the arson from last summer. Robert's style really shows the continuation of the new brick down lane. You can see the back end motion of the mirror plane asymmetric core as it enters the 1-3 pocket and continues through the 8 pin. For Robert, the brick is two to three boards stronger than the Hammer Arson from last summer. Next up is Jeremy Hunt with his brick drilled at five and a quarter inches from his positive axis point. Here's Jeremy throwing the Hammer Arson with its symmetric core shape. And now Jeremy will show you the angularity and stronger response down lane out of the hammer brick. Jeremy's ball always crushes the pins, but the new brick sucks the pins off the deck. You can see in the FCC hook ratings that the Hammer Brick is built with a stronger core and a stronger cover stock than the Hammer Arson from last summer. Next up is our female player, Kim Mann. Kim starts by taking a more direct approach with the Hammer Arson. The stronger response down lane gives Kim the confidence to throw the hammer brick on this Kegel Stone Street pattern. You can see in the overlays that Kim's brick, the red line, holds the trajectory longer and then gives stronger response down lane. Sean Lee's up next with a 4 and 5 8 inch pin to positive axis point distance on his new hammer brick. Here's his arson for a comparison shot.
Now you'll see Sean with the new hammer brick. And once again, you'll see stronger down lane continuation and more hook overall than the hammer arson. You can see Sean open the lane up here with the hammer brick as it barrels through the 8 pin, clearing the deck. And now finally, here's Les Man, our left-hander, with the new hammer brick. You can really see the two differences in the products here with Les's game. The Arson is an earlier and smoother read overall, with more of a mid-lane shape, whereas the brick is longer and stronger off of the break point, giving the bowler more hook and more back-end motion. Les is even able to bring the shot back that's wide of his target on this long, heavy oil Stone Street pattern. For our lefty video tester, the brick is far stronger than the arson from last summer. Check Hammer out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and on HammerBowling.com.